everybody. So today I'm going to be discussing my top picks for drunk elephant proteiny dupes or alternatives. Not all of them are going to be dupes, but more so alternatives. And I've been working on this for quite some time, quite a while. And finally, when I learned Shiseido purchased drunk elephant for almost a billion dollars, I decided I need to get going a little bit quicker on it. So uh, today I've got my recommendations for proteiny alternatives, and I've got quite a list. So I'm going to start out with the uh, category of as good as the proteiny or better first place. So the first product I have for that is going to be the uh, Cure uh, Radical Rejuvenating Whipped Night Cream. And this product is very similar to the proteiny. It has a 91% uh, ingredient list shared in common. So 91% ingredients are the same. So that's a pretty high number. And a lot of these products I'm going to discuss today have a lot in common with it. Um, however, the biggest difference between the Proteini and the Acure is that the Acure is a lot thicker texture to it. The Proteini has this wonderful uh, gel-like texture to it that just absorbs quickly. And uh, that's what I think a lot of people really like about it. Uh, it just absorbs quickly. It's great for normal skin, oily skin, dry skin. Uh, so certainly a great uh, texture to it. So I think that's what a lot of people really like about it. So the texture of it is just amazing. Nice gel texture to it. The Acure product has a much thicker texture to it, but actually for my dry skin, especially with winter coming, uh, actually, I've been appreciating the thicker texture to the Acure product, especially since a lot of the ingredients are the same. It just has a thicker texture to it. So if you do have oilier skin, you probably won't appreciate the texture of the Acure product as much as the Proteini. But if you have drier skin or it's winter uh, and it's also much more affordable, I should mention that there's a lot to like about the Acure product. And the packaging is also super convenient. The price is usually between 15 and $20. So not, not as nearly as expensive. Um, so definitely very hydrating. It contains, so the Acure contains uh, peptides, vitamin C, ferulic acid, uh, fragrance free, well packaged. So the main advantage to the Acure product is the price and the packaging. And the main disadvantage between this and the Proteini is that this has a thicker texture and not the as uh, universally loved gel texture as a drunk elephant. But if you're looking for a dupe, this is probably going to be one of the closest products you can find and also one of the more affordable products you can find. So it certainly is worth checking out. I'm so glad I finally uh, picked it up and have been using it now for quite some time. So certainly one to check out. The next one is also what I consider as good, if not better than the Proteini, and that is the Peter Thomas Roth Peptide 21 Lift and Firm Moisturizer. This is the moisturizer, not the serum. There's a serum on this line. The serum's much more expensive, but the moisturizer, in my opinion, is much better than the serum. And the moisturizer, Lift and Firm Moisturizer, is also fragrance-free. So when I was first coming up with this list, I'm like, well, geez, this one's $78. I'm like, that's more expensive than the Proteini. However, it took me a couple minutes in my bad math skills to finally realize that this product is 3.4 ounces. So it is double the size of the Proteini. So actually the price of it is gonna be significantly less than the Proteini. So that's worth considering. But this one is great. It's got a nice uh, lotiony texture to it. Comes in a nice pump bottle, which is very heavy. Uh, and you can always get it a little bit more affordable. But this one also has a lotiony gel texture to it, which is a lot more similar to the Proteini than the Acure one is. So this one has the nice gel texture to it. Also fragrance free, no denatured alcohol, comes with a lot of good peptides and other good beneficial ingredients. Uh, so formula definitely, in my opinion, can rival the Proteini on any given day because it's loaded with good things. And obviously going to be the price is going to be significantly cheaper once you consider it is double the size, although it's not so travel friendly because the bottle is like concrete, concrete, I don't know, plat, no, porcelain, concrete. So the main advantage to this one is the fact that it is uh, 
loaded with many peptides and other good things. The price is going to be significantly more affordable. Uh, the main disadvantage, I guess, would say that the lotion gel texture, this isn't quite as gel-like as the Proteini, although it is pretty uh, similar to it. It's a little bit thicker. So if you like the light gel texture, this one is a little bit thicker, but not by much. So this one's a great one. Absolutely love it. Well worth checking out. Just remember it's the moisturizer, not the serum. And uh, yeah, definitely one worth checking out. So my next one is one that I actually initially didn't think would make this list, although I knew it's very similar to the Proteini. But when I initially reviewed this between my review of this and today, they actually, the formula is a little bit different and I absolutely love this product. This is the Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. Uh, so when I initially reviewed this, it did have some fragrant oils in there, lavender oil, some essential oils. However, between then and today, the last time I purchased this, which was a couple weeks ago to get a couple backups of it, there is no fragrance yeah. in it anymore. So it's pretty amazing. I'm so excited. You know, the fragrance was super light in the other ones to the point where I didn't notice it too much, but it's still in there. And then this time there's no fragrance at all. So they've done a great job. They've uh, upped their game with this one. So this one is absolutely, I, I love it. I still use this every single day. So, uh, so anyway, so this is now fragrance free. I highly recommend this comes in a jar or a squeeze tube. I highly re recommend picking up the squeeze tube. The squeeze tube is double the size and it's only a few dollars extra. So worth checking out the squeeze tube. And uh, this one also is packed with beneficial ingredients. It's got a natural uh, blue color from, I'm gonna mispronounce it, gulazoline, which is a calming ingredient from derived from chamomile. And uh, it has a natural calming effect to the skin. So this one applies pretty easily. Um, the biggest thing, okay, so this has a 82% ingredient match with the Proteini. So that's a lot of ingredients match. Uh, it's loaded with a lot of different peptides. Uh, you've got the blue shade from the glazoline, and then it also has some antifungal properties from that ingredient. Super affordable. Uh, and then the main advantage with this one is it's loaded with peptides as well as other beneficial calming ingredients for skin. So if you have skin that is irritated or very sensitive, this one does have a nice calming effect. A main disadvantage to this one is that the texture of this can be a little bit thick and it does take a little bit of time to fully absorb. So if you're using this in your morning routine, sometimes it can cause a little bit of pilling, especially if you don't take the time to fully uh, massage it into your skin. And you really need to be sure to only start with a small amount because a little bit goes a long way and if you use too much, it will pill because it does take a long time to absorb. Oh, the texture of it is very nice. That's why I like to use it in my evening routine. So this one is a really good option. I don't know if any of you guys have tried it yet, but love the new formula without the fragrance in it. Well, we're checking out 82% ingredient match. So uh, anyway, so my last one in products that I think are as good or better than the Proteini, my very last one is the Skin Fix uh, Barrier Lipid Peptide Cream. And this one is not uh, super affordable. It is $50 and the size of it is identical to the Proteini. So they're both 1.7 ounces and they both use airless jars. So the packing, packaging of both of these is almost pretty much identical as well. Um, so this one's only slightly more affordable at $50. So it's $18 less a jar. Uh, and the airless jar is a great product. This one is uh, also, a little bit thicker in texture than the uh, Proteini is, and it uh, was more suitable for drier skin. So if you have super dry skin, this is a good one worth checking out. And uh, very hydrating, super thicker texture, so it's not like the gel formula, which I love, but this one does have a bit thicker. So if you have drier skin or it's winter, this is a great option as well. Uh, it contains peptides and a lot of other good hydrating ingredients as well. It's also fragrance and alcohol free. So uh, not much affo more affordable, but just a little bit. And it's a good option if you're looking for something that's a, just a bit more hydrating than the Proteini is. 
Uh, this is one that's well worth checking out and really like the Skin Fix, Fix brand. So uh, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, slightly more affordable, but good packaging and full of good peptides. So those are my uh, first string products for the uh, Proteiny. So now I'm going to get to my second string, which are runner-ups. So these are products that are close to being as good as the Proteiny, uh, but just have some sort of issue which makes it not as good. So the first one I'm going to start with is the Saturday Skin Waterfall Glacial Cream. And this one has the wonderful gel texture to it. Uh, as you can see, it's got a super nice gel texture, which is what I love about the Proteiny. It absorbs pretty quickly. So it's great for oily skin, dry skin, uh, normal skin, acne prone skin. I just love the gel texture to it. Now, it's a bummer though that they package this in a traditional jar because it does, once you open it, start to degrade the beneficial ingredients in it. Um, so that's one of the reasons why this one didn't quite make up in the perfect range for the Proteiny. However, it's a good option. It is fragrance-free, denatured alcohol-free, contains a lot of good peptides. However, all those are at the end of the ingredient list. So that's the other slight bummer is that all the really good stuff is at the end of the list. However, this still is a really good option, very similar in texture and uh, slightly more affordable. I believe this is in the thir higher $30 price range. So still more affordable, but I just love the texture of this one. So this one is uh, certainly one to consider if you're looking for a good uh, proteiny alternative. So the next one is the, oh, I'm gonna mispronounce this, Leaky Ham uh, PLC Repair Cream. And this is a super thick texture and the PLC in the PLC cream stands for post laser care. So if you've had uh, plastic surgery or uh, like a light pulsed laser treatment or any other types of treatments, uh, this is meant to be kind of a product that works to kind of help heal your skin. So it's got a little bit thicker texture to it which uh, is the reason why it's not super close to the protein in terms of like the texture to it, but it is uh, great for sensitive skin. If your skin is healing from something or if you overdid it with uh, exfoliants or if you overdid it with a retinol or your skin is just dry from the weather or sunburnt, anything like that, that this is a great one to check out because it is great for uh, healing your skin. So. Also contains a lot of good beneficial ingredients, super affordable as well, fragrance-free and alcohol-free. So the thicker texture to it doesn't make it, uh, you know, the best for daily use, but on occasional use, this is a great alternative to the Proteiny depending on what your needs are for your skin. So uh, anyway, so that's a good one worth checking out. The next one is gonna be the most affordable product on the list, and that is the Ordinary's Natural Moisturizing Factors Cream. Uh, it's not the most aesthetically pleasing, but if you're looking for a really good budget alternative to the Proteiny, this is probably your best pick because I think it's like 6 or $7. And now I've gotten a huge bottle too, uh, so double the size. So the main, the main thing is that it just doesn't have quite the luxurious texture as most of these other creams do. Uh, it does take a little bit of time to absorb, and sometimes it doesn't layer the best or play nicely with other products, but overall... For the price, this is gonna be the most affordable option you've got. Uh, contains many amino acids. So amino acids are a little bit different than a peptide. A peptide is a chain of two or more amino acids. So amino acids are the basic building blocks for the peptides. So this one has the amino acids in here, which is uh, just fine. They're very good for skin as well. Uh, so this one's got a thicker texture, but it, this one is also fragrance-free and alcohol-free and pretty well packaged and absolutely the most affordable product on the list. So this is also a runner up, one worth considering, uh, but not quite as good as the Proteiny. And the last one on this list uh, for me is the Dialba, and that is the Peptide No Sebum Repair Cream, which I reviewed. Uh, I only purchased this because I kept reading that this was a good K-Beauty dupe for the Proteiny, which uh, it's got the good peptides in there. It's well packaged. It's not as expensive as a Proteiny, but it is still expensive, so it's not necessarily a deal. Uh, my main issue with this one isn't uh, the texture or anything else. 
My main issue with this one is the fact that it does contain uh, some fragrance. So if you have sensitive skin or uh, avoiding fragrance is huge for you, then this is not the product you want to get. But if you don't mind a little bit of uh, essential oils and a little bit of fragrance, this is a good option. And if you have oily skin, a lot of those with oilier skin really love this because it hydrates without leaving your skin looking or feeling greasy or overly moisturized. So uh, this is a good one, full of amino acids, well packaged, uh, nice lotion gel texture absorbs quickly and uh, not the most affordable one on the list, but if you have oilier skin or are looking for a good K-Beauty product, this is one worth checking out. So um, those are the runner ups. And my next category is honorable mentions which are ones that uh, can be similar to the protein in a lot of ways, uh, don't necessarily fit the bill totally, but are close. And the first one I will mention for that one is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. Uh, this one is a product that is loaded with ingredients, uh, some good peptides in there. This one does have a little bit of fragrance in it from essential oils and the jar packaging isn't the best. And uh, it does have a nice uh, texture to it, which is a little bit uh, thicker gel lotion texture to it. It does have a little bit of fragrance in it, so that's obviously not the best. And the jar packaging isn't the best, but it is good, lots of good beneficial ingredients and peptides in this product, and it is a little bit more affordable. I think this one's about $40, and you get a lot of product for it. So uh, this one I thought would be a good honorable mention. It is worth mentioning in the class of the Proteini. It just has a little bit uh, disadvantages more than it does have advantages, but certainly something worth checking out for a lot of people. And the other one for the honorable mentions is the Derma E Advanced Moisturize Peptides and Collagen Moisturizer. And another issue is, which tends to be the same one now, is we've got the jar packaging, which isn't the best. And this one also has fragrance from essential oils. Although this one has a lot thicker texture to it than uh, some of the other products. And uh, it does work well. The scent of this one is from essential oils. It does uh, fade pretty quickly, so it's not a huge deal. I have pretty sensitive skin and I can still use it without any issues. And I love the fact of how hydrating it is. Uh, it's got a lot of good beneficial ingredients as well as peptides, and it is super affordable. It's probably the second most affordable product on the list. I think it's around $15, $20, so uh, worth checking out. And uh, anyway, so those are the honorable mentions. And the very last, I'll put all these uh, notes on the website, and I'll link to it so you guys can see the list and everything else. Okay, close, but not close enough. So... Uh, they didn't they didn't place in the Olympics. I guess I'll say that ones I tried ones that I really wanted to work, but just didn't make the cut for various reasons. And one is the Mad Hippie Face Cream. This does have a lot of peptides in the uh, the trademark peptide matrix cell, which is good for wrinkles and things like that. I really wanted to make this work since it's kind of a smaller brand, but this one has a little bit too much fragrance, although it is well packaged and it's pretty affordable just for the formula and things like that and the amount of fragrance and the texture this one is super thick and it does take a long time to absorb and it doesn't layer well but overall it's still a really good product and an affordable one so if you're looking for a good proteiny alternative and don't mind fragrance uh this one is a good one worth checking out and the fragrance does dissipate after a short amount of time but uh it's so this is the full size is $25 for one ounce the packaging is great loaded with peptides beneficial ingredients uh, but does have a significant significant scent to it from lime and my next close but not close enough is the oh no Pyung King Yo Moisturizer this one is a good moisturizer it's affordable moderately hydrating fragrance and alcohol free although I saw this mentioned with the Proteini some, at some points, and this one just doesn't quite stand up. The ingredient list in terms of peptides just wasn't quite enough. And uh, anyway, so um, yeah, so 
I tried it though. I thought maybe it would have a chance, but did not quite stand up to it. And the last one, close but not close enough, is the Mario Badescu Peptide Renewal Cream, uh, fragrance free. Only contains a couple peptides, so not enough to really compare it directly to the Proteiny. Um, the formula texture is super thick. And then again, we've got the jar texture factor. And this one has kind of a film forming tendency on it. So after you apply it, it kind of feels like, it feels like it's firming your skin, I guess a little bit, but it kind of has a tendency to kind of just stick on skin and feel sometimes not the best. So I tried it, only a couple peptides, but still a decent product, just not one worth mentioning in the same sentence as the Proteiny. So. Anyway, those are all of my Proteiny alternatives. Uh, I'm interested if you guys have tried any of these alternatives and what your thoughts are, uh, or if you have any other thoughts or any other alternatives that you've tried and you think are good alternatives, definitely let me know and let everyone else know too. So um, anyway, I guess those are kind of my thoughts on it. Definitely leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, check out nobsbeauty.com and the Amazon link below. And thank you guys so much.